Something very strange is happening in America, and soon, there will be people who find themselves in danger after Diddy. These people aren't who you might think, and the threat they face is something no one has ever warned you about before. There's a secret surrounding them, something hidden that could cause harm to all of America. It's not just a small problem, it's something that could shake the entire country and have effects that no one expects. Father Jim Blunt, a devoted priest with a deep connection to the spiritual realm, received a message from Our Lady. In this message, he was shown what was going on in America, and he realized the full extent of the danger. It's not just about one person or one event. It's something much bigger and more powerful that could affect everyone. Our Lady revealed to Father Blunt that there are dark forces at work, and these forces are preparing to bring great harm to the country. This revelation has left Father Blunt deeply concerned. He knows that this secret threat could tear apart the peace and stability of the nation. The people who will be in danger are connected to this secret in ways that most can't even begin to understand. What's worse is that no one has warned them or prepared them for what's coming. Now, with this knowledge, Father Blunt feels a heavy responsibility to share what he's learned and to try to protect those who will be impacted. America is standing on the edge of something very dangerous, and the time to act is now. Father Blunt believes that the country needs to turn back to faith, listen to the warnings from Our Lady, and be prepared for what's coming. This is not just a physical threat but a spiritual one, and only through prayer and faith can the people of America hope to protect themselves from the dark forces at work. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. After Diddy stepped down from the public eye, America entered a new era. It wasn't a sudden change, but slowly, as his influence faded, new faces emerged, determined to make their mark on the nation. Among these people was a woman who believed she could reshape America. She had ambition, charm, and a vision for the future, but it was a vision built on her desires rather than the good of the people. At first, she seemed like a breath of fresh air. Her speeches were powerful, promising to bring change, to make America a place where anyone could rise to the top. She talked about success and wealth, encouraging people to dream bigger, to reach higher. But beneath her promises, something darker was growing. Her heart was not filled with compassion or wisdom but with a hunger for power. She surrounded herself with others who shared this hunger, people who saw America not as a place to protect and nurture, but as a tool for their gain. These new leaders spoke about progress, but their progress wasn't about lifting people. It was about bending the rules, changing laws, and twisting values to fit their agenda. They glorified greed, saying it was the engine of success, and pushed aside any who dared question their plans. Slowly, America began to change, but not for the better. The poor were ignored, the vulnerable were left without help, and the country's foundation built on faith, justice, and unity began to crack. The woman, confident in her power, pushed for more control. She wasn't satisfied with just influence. She wanted to reshape everything in her image. Her vision was one where the rich grew richer, and those who followed her rose with her. But for those who didn't, life became harder. She changed the rules of the game, making it impossible for ordinary people to catch up. As factories closed, jobs disappeared, and families struggled to make ends meet, her promises of a brighter future began to feel like distant dreams. The media, bought and controlled by those in power, praised her every move. She was celebrated as a visionary, a leader of the new age. But behind the scenes, her group of powerful allies worked to silence any dissent. They created distractions feeding the public with shallow entertainment and false narratives, so people wouldn't see the true destruction happening behind the curtains. They encouraged division, stirring up arguments over race, gender, and politics, making sure people were too busy fighting each other to notice how much power was being taken away. God was watching all of this unfold. He had blessed the country with freedom, prosperity, and strength, but now he saw how these blessings were being abused. He saw how the powerful had turned their backs on him, 
replacing his teachings with their twisted version of truth. The woman and her allies no longer cared about justice or mercy. They were obsessed with control and willing to sacrifice anything and anyone for their ambition. As the years passed, America grew darker. The streets became filled with protests, violence, and anger. The rich fortified their mansions, while the poor were left to fend for themselves in a crumbling society. Churches, once filled with people seeking hope, began to empty as faith was mocked and pushed aside. The values that had once held the nation together honesty, kindness, and the belief in something greater than oneself were all but forgotten. The woman at the center of the storm will believe she is untouchable, having risen so high that no one could bring her down. Her advisors will assure her that everything is under control. As long as they keep the people distracted, they can do whatever they want. But they will be wrong. God's patience will have limits. There will be warnings whispers from prophets and voices calling America to return to God but they will be ignored. Soon, the time for mercy will be over, and God's judgment will arrive. It will start small, unnoticed by most. Crops will fail in unexpected places, and the economy, propped up by lies and greed, will begin to falter. One disaster after another will strike the country. The woman and her allies will dismiss these signs as bad luck at first, but as the disasters grow in intensity, they will no longer be able to ignore the truth. One night, as the woman sits in her mansion overlooking the city she helped destroy, a voice will come to her, echoing deep within her soul. It will tell her that time is running out and that everything she built is about to crumble. She won't want to believe it, trying to silence the voice, but God won't be asking for change anymore he will be demanding it. Across America, people will begin to feel the weight of their choices. The nation will break, and everyone will sense it. Some will turn to prayer, remembering the faith they once held dear, while others, like the woman, will fight against the truth, clinging to their power as it slips through their fingers. Then, the final blow will come. It won't just be a storm, though the skies will darken and the winds will howl. It will be a spiritual reckoning. God's hand will move across the land, not to destroy it entirely, but to cleanse it. The corrupt systems and leaders who betrayed their people will fall. The woman, who thought she could escape judgment, will find herself powerless and forgotten as her empire crumbles. But amid the chaos, something beautiful will happen. The people, broken and humbled, will turn back to God. They will kneel in their homes, in the streets, and in the few remaining churches, praying for forgiveness. And God, in his mercy, will hear them. He will punish the nation but will not forsake it. A new generation of leaders will rise not from the halls of power, but from the hearts of the people leaders who value justice, truth, and humility. They won't seek fame or fortune but will work to heal the wounds of the past. They didn't seek fame or fortune, but instead, work to heal the wounds that had been left behind. Under their guidance, America began to rebuild not just its cities and its economy, but its soul. The woman, now forgotten by history, watched from afar as the country she had once tried to control came back to life. She knew deep down that she had been part of the problem, that her ambition had led to ruin. But it was too late for her. Her time had passed, and she was left to live with the consequences of her choices. America, however, had been given a second chance. God's punishment had been severe, but his grace was greater. The nation, though scarred, would rise again, stronger and wiser, having learned the price of turning away from him. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.